So we will go ahead and get started with tonight's webinar called The Circle of Excellence. I'm really excited to bring on our guest who is a part of the Impact Project team. He is our Latin American director and his brain is uh, so big. He helped me understand what has been going on and what has been going wrong uh, with how we create social change and then showed me his heart when he was working with the people that we ultimately work with in Guatemala. Guatemala is his home country. He lives there. He's coming to us from Guatemala tonight and I would consider him uh, one of the top leadership development experts uh, yeah, in the world. In the world. He travels all over um, sharing his mind and his heart. So with that, I will go ahead and ask Eduardo to join us. He has his Circle of Excellence presentation ready to go, uh, and I'm looking forward to hearing what everyone has to think about it. Uh, make sure you use the chat screen if you've got any questions, and we'll see if we can't get to those questions at the end. Eduardo, do you want to turn on your video and just let us see it for a second? Okay, just let me go out again. <laughs> okay. Get the, the video on, so I am so happy to be with you guys tonight here we are in the rainy season so it's very nice to be with you guys around the US and talking about the circle of excellence so I don't know if we start talking about it Stephanie you tell me you're I tell you Eduardo let's go okay let's go back to the presentation and um, everybody could see it could you tell me Steph if you could see it okay we are good so one of the things that um, I learned when I was a firefighter a few years ago was the triangle of death. Every time that uh, you go to an accident or you have uh, you see people that they are in trouble with health, you you have to understand that there is a triangle of death that has three organs that you have to work with. One is the brain, the second one is the lung lungs and the third one is their heart so you have to be very careful about that when you see injured people and that's how they call the abc that it's airway breathing and circulation a few years later when i start working with communities i i start to understand the way people are like taking care of themselves but seeing what they what it's around them you know, so that's why I call uh, the circle of excellence because there's a person inside that sees everything that surrounds them, and that people that it's inside of that circle has to understand that the things that they are around them are not the things that are going to change uh, the way of they they're living. You know, so that's why I started. Uh, talking with the community members and the uh, village people to start um, seeing what they think, what they are used to think, and that's how I create the circle of excellence. So one of the things that I want to uh, start with is that what is the circle of excellence? For for me, the circle of excellence it's like someone has. A lot of things that they surround them, but they don't know that they have the power to change the way they are living by working themselves as an excellent human being in this world. So I'm starting to, maybe you're thinking about, wow, what this, this guy is talking about? But that's one of the things that uh, I always work with the community members is that you could be one of, 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 uh, of a lot of people that could start changing their old, the surrounding and their own lives, just applying the circle of, of excellence. So as I told you uh, at the beginning, I was a firefighter and I found out about the triangle of that. And we're in the circle of excellence, we're gonna use three human organs to, to explain the circle of excellence. So the first, uh, the first um, organ that I want to talk to, it's the brain. 
the brain is important to understand the circle of excellence because everything goes through the brain. Everything that we see, what we taste, what we smell, even what we hear or touch, our five senses, this, the brain, what it does is process the, uh, all this, that information that it's coming in lives. So in the circle of excellence, the brain is so important because you always gather pictures of the things that you are seeing. So every time that you go to a place or you meet someone, your brain is going to start getting those pictures of the people or the surrounding. You know, if, you go, if you're going to go to the woods or to a park, all the nature that surrounds you makes something in your brain and start smelling uh, the flowers. You could hear the birds sing. So all that information is getting inside your brain. Then you could relate uh, with people, with buildings, if you live in a big city or maybe you, you live outside the city, you always going to get those photographs of the environment that it's surrounding you. And of course, people. People are going to give you a lot of uh, information that you're going to process in your brain. So what I'm trying to tell you is that most of the things that you are processing and, and making a logical process of thinking of your life comes from the surroundings that you have in, 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 in your job, if you go to university or whatever, every single part of them, they, they come apart to your inside of your brain. After that, everything that you see, you know, it becomes a thought. So you could judge people, People, that's not the things that it's good about it, but you judge people just the way they look. But even that you could judge them and you don't know them, when you start meeting them, you could see that they're different, not the way that you think that they were. So most of the time, we think about problems, like you could think problems that we have here in Guatemala. Maybe you have, oh, they have lack of food, of clean water, and that's things that they surround the community members. But when you start talking with the community members and you could start seeing what they live or, or hearing their stories, you're, you're gonna start to process uh, all the thoughts differently as if you just saw pictures of, or, or videos. So one of the, th the important thing, uh, things about the circle of excellence is the way that you process the information that you are getting from your surrounding. After that, I'm gonna tell you that the second organ that we're gonna talk about is the heart. The heart is so important to understand because for us, it's a fertile land, you know? Everything that you process, every good thinking, good thoughts, or bad thinking, or bad thoughts, they're gonna go inside your heart. And all the information that you're going to get, it's the water that is going to make the seed grow about the good thoughts or the bad thoughts. Maybe you have a problem with a person and you thought that what he made to you is bad, but you have the opportunity to think differently about this person, maybe forgive him, you know, and let that thought go out of your brain. But most of the time, what we do is get that bad thought and just plant it in our heart. It's a very good seed. The, the heart is a fertile land because it's going to grow good thinking, bad thinking. Uh, there are going to come a lot of things out of the heart if you don't have the right process of the, your thoughts and the way that you could see the surrounding. So your heart is going to start to get all that information that you brought to your brain and you let those thoughts go to your heart directly. So most of the time, when you plant those seeds of your thoughts, what you already have processed, are gonna grow inside your heart. So your heart can take the way you choose. Most of the time, maybe we do decisions and we take decisions because what is more on our heart. So 
one of the warnings that I want to tell you about is that you have to be very careful what type of thoughts are you getting inside and processing in your brain and planning it on your heart because most of the time you're going to make the right or wrong choices in your life. Then after the brain and after the, the heart, we have this, the third organ of our body. Remember that I told you in the triangle of death that was the brain, the heart, and the lungs. But in this case, in the circle of excellence, we're going to talk about the third organ, that it's the mouth. You know, the mouth is so important in this circle of excellence because most of the time, what we speak out from our mouth, you know, loud, it's what we have already planted in our heart. So if you're studying psychology, don't worry, after you understand the cycle of excellence, the circle of excellence, you don't have to go to university. Now, that's just a joke. If you talk with someone for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, you're going to hear what is really on their heart. So that's one of the things that you have to be very careful because people could understand what you have been permitting to get inside your brain, plant it in your heart, and that's what you're going to talk about. So I make these examples. If you're very young and you're studying school and you're, ha you're having a hard time with math and your friends in school say, ah, you're, you're a little bit dumb, you don't know how to, you're not, you're not good at math. And maybe your parents say, hey, come on, you don't know how to uh, do math or you're not doing well in math. That information that is surrounding you, you're going to process it in your brain and then you're going to plant it directly to your heart. And when you grow up, people maybe are going to say, what are you going to study in the university? And maybe you could say nothing that has numbers because I'm not good at math. I could put another example of uh, a little boy or a little girl that it's a little bit old, overweight and everybody called them names like fatty or whatever, you know. What they're going to do is all the surrounding all the, the information that he's getting for their surroundings, he's gonna process in their, in their brain and then he's going to go inside their heart and then they're gonna talk about that. And what is going to happen? Next time, they're gonna take a picture and someone truly is going to say to you, hey, look, you, don't, you look beautiful in this photograph. You look like a gentleman or like a princess. But most of the time of the people, because they are not using well the circle of excellence, they're going to say, no, I always look fat every time they take me a photo. So what it did in the circle is that everything that they process, they process, they put it in their heart. So they're speaking what is in their heart. So that's one of the things that I need you to understand that when I start talking to the community and seeing the circle of excellence, I have to apply it first to my life. I have to start thinking the good thoughts, the positive thoughts that they are in my brain, I'm going to plant it in my heart so then I could start talking positive, uh, talking to the community members. Because every time that you go to a community, most of the people, what you're going to hear is that they are poor, that they don't have opportunity, they don't have food, they have not eaten, they don't have uh, uh, very good health, they don't have clinics, health clinics. And when you go there and you see the surrounding, you're gonna start talking not like them. You're gonna start saying, yeah, you don't have anything. Oh, this is worse. I can't believe that we're like this. So one of the important things about the Circle of Excellence is that I had to apply the circle of excellence to my life first. So my life started changing and seeing the things that, the good things that surround me, my wife, my son, my job, even if I'm in a rush hour in my car, just sitting there for an hour, I try to see the good things that could happen to my life. 
because if I start reading just the new newspapers and seeing all the things that is happening in the world, it's a good way of getting all the information about the world, economics and politics. But you have to have a filter in your brain and you have to take out the bad thinking and start putting the good thinking to your life so the circle of excellence is going to come to life. And that's one of the things that we work when we work with the community members and the community that we work with impact, because at first we start changing the way they see their surrounding. They could see the opportunities coming. And that's one of the greatest things that happened with me when I started working in impact, because it was not just helping the communities and giving products to them. It's working with them, walking with them, seeing how they see telling them that there's another opportunity and the opportunity it's inside them using their brain, how they are going to start processing all the problems that they have. They have to start seeing the good things that they could do. They have opportunities, you know, but the opportunity most of the time is in our brain and we're so like uh, close minded that we cannot see the opportunities coming. So that's one of the important things uh, really about the circle of excellence is what you're processing in your in your brain what type of information you're you're getting inside you know you could have relationships that they are not that good just negative people surrounding you telling all the bad things that it's happening you know and you start you're going to start processing those, that information and after a few weeks maybe a days you're going to start talking like them talking the negative way of, of, of life, but not seeing the good things or the opportunities uh, in, in the life. And what we have been seeing with the community members is that every project that we implement in the community, the majority of the community members, they have been working first with the circle of excellence. So every project that they propose, they are sure that they're gonna accomplish that project. Every time that we teach them how to use a stove or how they have to use a water filter, they are going to understand it, taking out all the bad thinking, saying, no, that cannot be, no, it's not going to be possible. They're going to start seeing the opportunities because the circle of excellence of their lives are changing because they are seeing that the problems, even that the problems are in their surrounding, they have the chance to change that problem in a positive project or in a positive way of living. So that's one of the greatest things about the circle of excellence is that if you really understand it, and today if you have the opportunity to start applying the circle of excellence of what are you getting into your brain? What type of information? What, what are you reading? What are you hearing in the radio? What are you seeing in the TV? You know, who are the people who are surrounding you? They're leaders. They are really influencers of your life, positive people, or seeing another country, not the country that they're presenting to you, but the country that you really want to live on. And that's so important for the social change. It doesn't matter if you're in the States or you're here in Guatemala. Maybe we don't have the opportunities that, like in the States, but we have a lot of opportunities. And one of the opportunities that, that we have here in Guatemala, it's the way impact is working in the communities, you know, because it's different, not as the common NGOs or nonprofit organizations that they're working around the world, because we're working as changing the way we're thinking about impact, business, and social development, and both of them in one ingredient, and it's called impact project. So that's one of the great things is that if you start using your, your circle of excellence, knowing what it's in your heart, you could go and meditate about what I have been putting inside my brain that now is planted in my heart, and that's the way I'm talking about and thinking about, you know? So the big opportunity or the good news about the circle of excellence is that you could start taking out all those fruits, all those bad plants that you have in your heart 
and start implementing the new process of thinking of what I'm going to use to just uh, empower my life or what type of content I'm gonna uh, permit to get inside my, my, my thinking, how I'm going to start thinking. Maybe you could think about the impact project and say, this really could work, you know? Not just I could make money about that, but I could help people. And it's, it doesn't matter if I get, uh, gain money and help people. It's not, I'm not gonna look at bad like that. So even in the circle of excellence is going to work for you to accomplish your goals, your university goals, your job goals, and, and it's going to help you to understand what type of thinking are you gonna start using after hearing the circle of excellence. And the other thing that I, I wanna talk about the circle of excellence is that most of the time we don't understand that we live in that surrounding and that surrounding is going to be influenced by our citizenship, you know, because most of the time we're just thinking about ourselves, but not thinking for others. And when you start to apply the, the circle of excellence, knowing what type of information you're going to get in your brain, so your brain is going to start processing all that thoughts and when you get the right product, you're going to plant it in your heart. So then you're going to be talking about all those good content, good knowledge that you have been putting in your, in your brain and your heart. And you start going to be an influencer in your community. You, you, you could start doing a huge amount of change if you start implementing the circle of excellence. Just people that they knew how you were talking about, maybe you were a little bit mad or, or always want to be rebel, you know, or whatever. If you start to apply the good things that it's going to get you to a better uh, living, you're going to be a better citizen. So that's one of the greatest things that we're working directly in the community is that even that we're doing projects and we're putting stoves and filters and helping in the bad nutrition, uh, what we're building with them in the circle of excellence, it's good citizens, you know, and that good citizenship is going to help us to change a community where people understand that if you have to start changing the, the way you think and the way of treating people, the way of working, being honest, telling the truth, you know, and you could open your heart to people and they're going to start seeing the good things that you have been processing in your head. So that's what I could talk directly about the, the circle of excellence. One of the greatest things is that I, I had to apply it first to myself and then I went to work with the community members and the leading, leaders of the community and showing them by model the way of circle of excellence it's working. Stephanie, I don't know if there are some questions. We have one question that came through and it's how do you know when they, which I'm assuming that they mean the community, how do you know that they understand the circle of excellence? What's the most, what's the biggest change that you see? When I hear them talk, you know, most of the time when we do the Arumono Sagashi or the Sagashi model, we could see uh, how they talk about their own problems. After we show the circle of excellence, and the other thing that it's important that you have to understand is that the circle of excellence is not a product. The circle of excellence is a way of living. So you have to model what you believe. So you could see the change of them when they start living differently than we when we met them you know so they're more positive uh, they have challenges but they have their the solutions about the problems or the challenges that they have then you could see all the children that they when when you talk with them and they don't know how to apply the circle of excellence but when you start working with them and working in the circle of excellence you could start 
seeing the way that the, they see the future now. You know, it's different. They want to go to study to university. Uh, they want to have their own business, you know. Uh, they don't want to be just employees. Uh, they want to study uh, to have uh, and, 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 and accomplish a lot of dreams, maybe dreams even that their fathers thought but they couldn't accomplish. So that's the way that you could start seeing the change and the, applying the circle of excellence. But as I told you, you have to model the circle of excellence to be a, an influencer in a community. Right. So can you just explain, you know, when our uh, funders and our advocates learn about a community, can you explain when the circle of excellence and, you know, the actual work within the community starts as far as impact is concerned? Well, I'm going to tell you, Stephanie, that we implement the circle of excellence when we start doing the Sagashi, uh, um, implementing the Sagashi study. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we do when we sit with the community leaders and, uh, and the people from the community, we start to uh, uh, work with the circle of excellence. Just I want to tell you this, the circle of excellence is just inside of the first circle of development. The first circle of development is the human scale development. You know? So how we apply it when we start, impact apply it when it starts the Sagashi study. So it's since, it's since the beginning. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I think that you know, what you kind of touched on there, uh, talking about human scale development and then how we work out in those circles will definitely be a webinar and a, and a talk we're going to have to have you back for because that all plays into the innovative system that Impact Project has put in place, right? So that's what's happening in the communities that are being helped. And on the other side um, is where people like you and I, uh, everyone who's watching this, whether they're on the live broadcast or on a replay, takes, takes part. So the, the communities in Guatemala, currently we're working in Guatemala, are being helped in this matter. Uh, and now they're looking for the opportunity because their, their thought process, you know, they've really installed the circle of excellence. And I think, you know, just my, just seeing, um, seeing that change when I was there, you know, with four or five months in between, you could totally tell the difference. Um, one more thing is that this isn't just, this is for us. Like this totally opened up my thinking, right? So my brain is connected to my heart, plants things in my heart, and whatever's in my heart comes out my mouth. And I think that that's something that we can all move forward with starting today, uh, you know, starting within 10 minutes after watching this video, I really challenge you to implement the circle of excellence in your life and let us know how maybe you're looking at a few things differently. Eduardo, any closing thoughts? Just one thing is that um, the circle of excellence works in community uh, here in Guatemala, uh, but it could work anywhere. You know, now that you're hearing and watching this and you start to implement the circle of excellence, what, what is the content that you're permitting to get inside your brain? What are you processing? What type of thoughts, you know, good thoughts or bad thoughts? What are you planting in your heart or what are you talking uh, uh, then what you have in your heart? But one of the important things is that people that they are implementing this circle of excellence, they never had the opportunity to go to study in school. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them, uh, maybe they just have just one meal per day. Uh, they don't have a hospitals. They don't have medicines. Um, they live in a small house with chickens, pigs, and dogs, and but not as in a farm, as you know, as a farm. So uh, to implement the circle of excellence in a country that has uh, not opportunities as you guys do, so. It's important to understand that it doesn't matter where, even in a tough, very tough community, they're implementing the circle of excellence and growing as human beings to, to accomplish their goals, you know? 
So if you have all, the, all these opportunities and you are going to implement the circle of excellence, I'm going to guarantee you that your life is going to start changing since now until the future. And you're always going to remember the circle of excellence. Absolutely. All right. With that, Eduardo, we're going to go ahead and close out our Impact Project Presents the Circle of Excellence. You've just heard from one of the world's uh, top leadership development experts, and his name is Eduardo Magermans. We invite you to check out impactproject.com to learn more about how our innovative social change platform is one that you can use right from your home and right from your community and with all of your friends and family. All right. Close this out. Is it, it's vamos, right? Vamonos. Vamonos. Okay. Thank you so much, Eduardo, and we'll see everyone else later.